Hi there! Welcome to episode 34 of Trials and Trebuchets. I'm Luke, your Dungeon Master, and joining me as always is... Hello, my name is Ben. I'll be playing the level 5 gnome wizard, Windsor Wallaby, along with his cuddly little companion, Mr. Wiggles. Um, he hasn't experienced nosebleed, so give him a minute. <laughs> oh, hey, everyone. It's me, Integrity Adelberry, <laughs> the rope yielding, friend protecting, peacemaking level 5 tiefling rogue. I don't like the frequency at which Integrity introduces herself to our <laughs> podcast audience. She's gaining sentience. Soon it will only be Integrity. Her, in- her intro versus her character herself yeah. are very different people. Intro yeah. Integrity are is they? a whole different person. One day the two will meet. <laughs> None of us are safe. Integrity. Hi, I'm Sarah, and I play Mira Marchant, the level 5 half-elf bard. Notably, she did not get shot by a crossbow or kicked in the head. It's a great day for Mira. Uh. <laughs> Get wrecked. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know where that came from. That's something that Mira writes in her diary. <laughs> Get wrecked. My name is Sam, and I play Sarah Nep Cinderman, a level 5 human sorcerer, and I should be listened to more often. Yeah. <laughs> please. Yeah. Please. That's true. We should. That's all I got. And last time. On trials and trebuchets, the students discovered a hidden castle located through a cavern in the hot springs and sitting precariously on a cliff. After struggling across an old wooden bridge, they entered and began to cautiously explore the small castle, worrying that the smoky gremlins were hidden nearby. Soon thereafter, when climbing a ladder in a completely safe way, (laughs) Winsler was kicked in the head by one of said gremlins and realized, seeing the fully corporeal form of said gremlin, that it was not a gremlin and was indeed a smoking, pale-skinned dwarf with dark red eyes. Scared of what else may happen if they stayed, the students retreated to the hot springs and to question the general population of Lightmere about what the hell's happening in their basement. So hey, did you know that there's a thing in your basement? You should get that looked at. So what's the what's the plan, y'all? Um, You're in the hot springs. You just climbed all up. We discussed that we wanted to find the grandfather of the employee there who did maintenance and talk to him, if I'm remembering correctly. This was a whole week ago. Yeah. Uh, yeah, sure. Totally was. What? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and for you listening out there, so, too, it's Sarah, been a week. Sarah's trying to make a joke or make our audience believe that we actually record every week instead of all at once in a large oh. mass bundle package. Yep, yeah, this is this. We've been sitting here since episode one in the same room recording yep. forever. The reason leave. Sam Never wasn't leave. here, the reason Sam wasn't here since the beginning is because Sam had work. Exactly. But ever Sam since then, had had it later since. on. None of us have had it since. None of us have had done anything we don't at eat. all. We've been sitting here. We don't sleep. We don't eat. We don't we sleep. We just podcast. Just only D and D. We don't shower. Only podcast. We don't eat. That's it. That's typical for nerds, though, isn't it? Mm. Um, excuse Luke. me. Our prison cells don't even have showers. That was excuse mean. me. We just have that is not movies. true. You can be People whoever shower. you want nice. to be. So, what the fuck are you all doing? <laughs> we want to talk to the Grampy. Wait, 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 How wait, are you going Mira, to find Mira, him? Mira, wait, Grandpa, Mira, Mira, Pappy. Yeah. Shouldn't we fix the hole first? Okay. I feel bad. But the, we have to come. We're probably gonna come back, right? And the water's already drained. <laughs> we're gonna pay the door open again. Grandpa puts the nice clean water in there to make it nice, and then we just break it again. Okay. Um, how big is the hole? It's probably like four feet diameter. Oh, damn. It's a big hole. Okay, let's just leave the hole. Why are you gonna put your fucking disc in there? Well, I can't because it will follow me, so I know. Never mind. So (laughs) What was your plan? Grampy. (laughs) Yeah, let's do it. Um, maybe the employee we haven't we haven't been in there for that long. He said he was going she said that he was going out, maybe he's back now? Probably. Maybe walk, walk, walk. Maybe. You walk, walk, walk out and through the curtains, the and you see the same orangey red uh, dragonborn attendant sitting there. She's seemed to move on to a, another edition of Dragonborn Weekly. Um, literally, just doesn't want to work apparently, but that's none of your concern. Uh-huh. You don't How pay is her. Virgil doing? Virgil seems to be chill. Kurogami seems to be chill. Um, Wigg- Wiggles is asleep. He never noticed anything was out of order. Oh, wait. I have to get my stuff. Oh, right. I don't have a pet yet. It's oh, a really? Toe, I didn't right? know. Right? 
I mean, maybe there could have been a pink topaz in the castle. There could have been. <laughs> Hi, could you tell us where your grandpa the maintenance man is, please? She looks up from her magazine and goes, uh, he should be getting lunch. Where is lunch located? Uh, I think they have some, like, cook fires set up today for, like, the ceremony in the center of town. So he's going to wander over that way, grab some barbecue. What does your grandpa okay. look like? Okay. Nice. Thank you. Uh, just, he's really wrinkly and has, like, tarnished nice. old scales, very kind eyes, really callous Can hands. Can be more specific? There's a lot of people that fit What's that What's his name? Um... Yeah. Um, his name is Halifax. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we just we just call him Hat. That's what I oh know him as. H- Hat. Hat. Yeah. Okay. Grandpa Hat. Grandpa Hat. Okay. Got yeah. it. Okay. We'll, we'll okay. talk to him. Is that with one T or two T's? Well, that's just one T. Well, I don't know see okay. why that's important. It doesn't really change the pronunciation though. <laughs> well. Sometimes it just makes you happy to know things for knowledge's sake. Thank you so much for helping us. Yeah, no problem. (laughs) We'll give you back your bathing suits later. We'll we'll be back. And also your floor. Okay. But don't look. What? I'm going to... No. What? Um, Bye. (laughs) What? No, 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 no. no. As you all run out. I'm going to pick up Virgil and leave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're out and about. Do you want to make your way to the city center? Yeah. Find that Gramps. Grampy. Um, Grandpa hat. So... (laughs) <laughs> grad pad oh no okay it's about two in the afternoon maybe just after that um or maybe i'd say almost exactly two in the afternoon it's exactly two in the afternoon <laughs> two in the afternoon and you make your way to the city center there is a large circular flat pat so sorry light mirror is a city that is kind of in a concave um oh, it was a village you're right. It's a small village in a s- circular crater. So the ground of the village upon which all the houses are built and structures in the town is concave. And there are these cliffs that surround the city and then a wall. But in the very center of the city, it's flattened out and there is a large circular area that is just this nice, very fine gravel. Um, and it feels very... I don't, I don't know if you guys walk around without your shoes on, but it isn't the type of gravel that would like hurt your feet to walk on it's very like smooth and um like weathered so that it's not like spiky it's very pleasant experience and in the very center there's a small plinth upon which sits a like foot and a half by like half foot um weird like just stone that seems to have this metallic sheen to it there's a few large spitfires that are um set up around the like around the circle it's probably like a 20 foot radius circle right it's like it's a fairly big like clearing it's like a picnic area or you know um to the north is a large pavilion like a open like it has the roof and but it doesn't have walls and it's there's just these large tables set up and there's like a large um fire pit that's being um set up there right now as well uh, and then to the south, there is a large um, fabric-walled building, I guess. It has, like, the regular fabric doors that all the other buildings internally have here. Um, and then the actual exterior of the building seems to be made of the same material. And it doesn't seem to have a roof or anything. Um, and there's a few people around. There's the people setting up the fires and stuff. And then you see the old man that you saw um, checking out the hot springs and excused himself when all of you showed up, which he was who you assumed to be Gramps. You see a small, very, t- like, he's very, s- not, sc- like, it's weird to call a kid scrawny, but you see a very tiny dragonborn who seems to be, like, a young child who is, like, um, sitting by that central area with, like, the stone on the little platform. Uh, and he's just kind of like has his chin rested on the platform and is staring at his reflection in the very nice polished uh, exterior of that stone. What do y'all want to do? Let's go poke Gramps. You're just going to actually go up and poke him? I mean, I'll, I'll poke metaphor. him and then I'll ask him if, he, if he's if Gramps we're looking for. So you poke him and he, okay. in the middle of having a conversation with someone else and eating some nice uh, barbecue, it looks to be goat or something mm. that's on the spit. And he kind of like jumps in his skin and turns around and goes, uh, "Hi there, what can I do for you?" Howdy, are you are, are you Grandpa Hat? 
Well, I, I, I am indeed Grandpa Hat, uh, or just Hat, to people who aren't my grandchildren, and I don't think you're my grandchildren, so it's just Hat, if it'll please you. Uh, what can I do for you? Well, I think you got a bit of a problem in, in, in your basement, Grandpa Hat. Well, I'm not your grandpa, so just hat is fine. Uh, and I don't have a basement, so I think you've got the wrong person. No, no, no. there's like a there's like a, a weird tunnel that uh, broke open in where the hot springs were that leads to the basement, Grandpa Hat. We were wondering if you could like, <laughs> tell us anything about that at all. Uh, not your grandpa, kid. Uh, don't know anything about any holes in any... I know I'm the hot spring. I own the hot springs. My family's owned it for years, uh... What do you need? Uh, what's going on? Can you explain the situation in its whole, or in the entirety to me? You want to insight check him? I want to insight check him sure. to see if he's lying. Insight check him. I believe him. You sound too excited. It's an 11. To okay. He doesn't seem to be lying. He seems to be confused and kind of annoyed that you keep calling him Grandpa. Well, uh, okay, Grandpa Hat. Here's here's the story from, from the very beginning. Well, me and my friends, we went to the hot spring, right? There was this. There was some weird smoke that flew into a crack in one of the pools. Oh, it sounds like gremlins. And, well, well, here's the thing. We 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 broke Wait. a hole in, and we followed down into the tunnel there, Grandpa. Whoa, hat. Hey, you broke a second. hole in my hot spring. No, it no. broke itself. Well, it broke well, itself. It we broke were, itself. No, we were. <laughs> it was we, no were hole. we were. We I um I was swimming, and then since I guess I'm a very heavy person, very very heavy footed, and then all of a sudden a hole pokes through and there it was a big hole and it slurped me all the way down <laughs> we got real slurped like st- real we slurped got super down. slurped <laughs> and then there were these we ended up in a icy pool at the bottom and there were some figures that ran through a little tunnel over the other side and we followed them and it led to a cliff and we went around to the corner of where the cliff led and my friends got shot Right in their shoulders. I was nearly scarred for life because I couldn't bear to see my friends shot with crossbow bolts, Grandpa Hat. <laughs> and- Listen here. You, little man, not you're an honored grandson. guest at the village. Stop calling me Grandpa. You br- so you're telling me, if I'm going to believe this story, you're telling me that you just were walking around in the pools at my hot spring. I'm swimming. Swimming around. And all of a sudden, a hole just broke open, sucked y'all, slurped y'all down. You got shot with crossbows by some gremlins. And the, would you like the, to come with us? Like we, a... we can show you if you don't believe us. I just we figured that you might know something about a giant underwater cave uh, under your business. I also there's a castle. Might kind of tank your real estate. And the gremlins, he, and, and a, the, and the gremlins Winsler, are not really gremlins. <laughs> Winsler, as soon as you say there's a castle, he like throws his head back and, like, puts his hand on his face, like, oh, my God, what is this? And he goes, Grandpa, all right. Grandpa Hat, what's wrong? Listen, listen, stop <laughs> calling me Grandpa Hat. Just Hat. I think, I think, I think that if what you're saying is true, it's a bit out of my jurisdiction. It is my hot spring, after all. But, but, I don't want to go dealing, messing around with gremlins. If you can just leave me back there, I can seal it back up, make sure no gremlins get back in, make sure everything's just perfectly fine. But but, but the gremlins no, aren't the, exactly gremlins. Gremlins are just gremlins. Nothing to worry about. They didn't, I don't, the gremlins, gremlins don't build castles they were and shoot dwarves, people. dwarves, not gremlins. They were ashy dwarves. Okay. He's going to say, listen, listen. Ain't no, no dwarves live around here. I don't know what you guys are seeing. There's no dwarves living around here. This is Dragonborn territory. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn to all my friends and I'm going to audibly say, I, I think Grandpa Hat is a little bit in denial. He doesn't want to believe that it, that what what exists under his hot spring really does. There's no so war in Lightmere. I think it'd be best if we took There's him no with us. There's no war in Lightmere. <laughs> Listen, if you might want to go talk to the chieftains or something, if one of them's around today, they might be a bit busy with all the ceremony preparations. But well, well, that that's why we came to you first, Grandpa. <laughs> well, stop calling me Grandpa. Angst your Grandpa. This point, at this point, I'm gonna walk up to Winsler and cover his mouth. <laughs> sort of just like stand there and be like, 
and like hold on to his mouth with my right hand. <laughs> I'm going back to my hot springs. I'm gonna bring this delicious goat with me. I'm gonna <laughs> seal up that hole that you all just happened to find. Gremlin hole. I'm not asking any questions. There's just a hole with gremlins in it. A hole with gremlins and castles mm-hmm. and dwarves. Whatever you say. I'm gonna go seal up that hole. You got, y'all can go talk to the chieftains. If one of them's around, like I said, might not be, might be. I don't know. I don't. I'm not their secretary. And we'll go about our day. Um, and please don't ever call me Grandpa again. Oh, Mr. Hat. Okay, um, Uncle Hat. Um. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get kicked out of the I village, agree, guys. Okay, I greatly appreciate um, your help, and I know that you don't want anyone disturbing your business, um, but would you just, like, mind and waiting until going back until we, like, talk to the chiefs just to make sure that, like, we're, we're doing the best thing given what there is? I realize that don't call me grandpa might have been a poor choice of words. <laughs> Just from this point forwards, if you need to refer to me, hat is fine. Okay, hat is fine. It is more than fine. No, no. Just my name. (sighs) Go talk to the chieftains. Thank you. Before I go talk to the chieftains and get them to throw you out of this city. Um, uh, Hat. It's a village. So sorry. Yes. It's so sorry city. for my um, friends here, but I feel really bad because we were the ones there when your floor broke de- um, broke apart. So don't worry about it. Um, here's two silver coins. Is this enough? It's all I could offer. He snatches it, and you can hear him walking away, grumbling and like draconic about the youths today. Are you okay, Sarah? I'm fine. All Wasn't right. that funny? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to turn to Mira and Winsler, and I'm going to say, how old are you two? <laughs> I'm baby. <laughs> Honestly, this is a serious situation, you guys, and you're <laughs> pissing off the informants but, but of the I town. But I was being serious. I was being serious. Okay. Well, um, Chieftain, any idea where Chieftain might be? Anyone? Maybe at the chieftain well, station. <laughs> <laughs> they have like a little like. I didn't booth know they had one up. of those. Maybe. Th- well, where's the ceremony being held? Maybe they're there getting things set up. But we are here. But I mean, is there a specific spot that it's happening in? Because here we're at the like food area. Sarah Nepth. Hi. You feel what? What clothes are you wearing today? Um. Are you still wearing your bathing suit, or did you switch back to regular clothes? I would say I'm still kind of in the I'm in the, I'm in the bathing suit. What's still. your do you have like pants on? Oh, okay, you are still in the bathing suit. Yeah. Okay. Could you also so there's a small physical detail that we kind of gloss over a lot. You're a draconic bloodline sorcerer, and as such, you have small little scales all like on on certain places in your face. Is that correct? Yes. That uh, like true. on your cheeks and stuff, and like near your jaw. Or it's like any. Your, your... It's any. It's any spot that doesn't have like armor on it so at this moment i guess it would be like around my hands and like my like calves that kind of thing so like those little scales would be there okay so you feel on the leg of your swimsuit because they are like one piece like old style swimsuits at the leg of your swimsuit serenath you feel a very like not strong but you feel like a pull i look down you look down and a person, which you've seen before, sitting over with his head on the small little platform, staring at his reflection. This bright red little uh, dragon born. Um, bright, 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 bright red with these uh, deep gold eyes. Um, looks up at you and he's going to say, Are you a dragon? You Are you like a lady? Are you, are you, a, are you, a, are you a dragon disguised as a lady? Because you have scales I'm... and you're really big. Do you ever have a dream that that you? <laughs> God damn it, no. Um, I'm going to and kneel my, down. And my and my and my and my grandma told me that any lady who's really big and has scales and is really pretty is a dragon. And if you call them grandma out, hat? they have to marry you. Aww. 
Oh my fucking oh, god. Oh, so cute. You naive child. Oh my heart. Oh. And my and, and 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 my and and because my great 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 grandmother. This kid's more annoying than me. Picked all the just. You might have heard of her. Real famous. Real big hero. She found a dragon who was hiding as a person and was like, you're a dragon. And they married her. And that's why we're the chiefs. <laughs> and so are you a dragon? I'm going to look to the group and be like, how? Um... Can I cast dragon breath on you? Go for it. <laughs> Okay. I want to marry a little kid. Apparently, I'm gonna I'm gonna take out my red dragon scale and I'm gonna cast dragon breath on Serenep. Of course not. And I'm gonna but have it. Be, the kids are key to the chieftain. That's true. I'm gonna have it be cold. You're cold. Like uh, like yeah. Okay. This is what it feels like okay. to chew five gum. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Stimulate. So your he's senses. gonna continue to like pull at your pants and be like, "Are you a dragon?" Are you a dra- If you're a dragon, you have to tell. My grandma said, I'm "If gonna- you're a dragon, that you have to tell me." <laughs> okay, Luke. I just want to say that twice now, I have tried to say that. Like once he starts pulling on me, I like kneel down so that I'm like face to f- I'm like face level with this kid. Okay. And I'm going to like look at. I guess like Winslow's gonna like look at me. And Winslow like, like pats you on the shoulder and subtly casts Dragon's Breath. Okay. Um. I'm going to raise. My, okay, so what exactly does Dragon's Breath do? Let's use. Uh, uh, you can use an you can use an action, and it deals like a cone of damage in front of you. It's so basically what, like it's basically like breath weapon, but in spell form. So you just can breathe so, ice out of your mouth. So what I'm gonna I'm gonna like put something between me and the kid to show like my ice ability like in something <sighs> in my hand mm-hmm. to oh, show dope. it, but not hurt the kid. Like yeah. I'll like lean over and like what, do that. Like what do you breathe on? I'm gonna breathe on. A bubble. My fork. My oh, your fork. ornate fork. And just its <laughs> tiny little form. And it frosts up as you breathe gently on it. And his eyes, like, go the size of dinner plates. And he, like, reels his head back. And he's like... <gasps> <laughs> Mom! And sprints away. Oh. Um, Wait, follow yeah, him. yeah, yeah. That's, his, that's the fo- chief. Yeah, we're following him. Yeah. <laughs> and is, like, sprinting as fast as impossible for his tiny childlike frame. Oh, That's so cute. And it's very quick. It's not super far. It's that um, cloth building. He just runs straight in through the doors and he's like, Mom! Right? Like just screaming. And this <laughs> immense dragonborn. So let me... No, sorry, 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 sorry. This, the building. Let me describe this room. If you're going to... And you all follow, right? Like directly after. Oh, yeah, of course. Um, yeah. And so inside this room, there is a, it's very simple. There is uh, a few assorted pillows strewn about on the ground. There is a, dre- a like very dark, almost um, black colored. They're, the red of their scales are so dark and, and like it's almost red, but like glints of light will hit it now and again. And you can see like the reflectiveness of like the red color. Um, but in the darkness, you would absolutely assume it, this is just a black dragonborn. Um, and they're wearing these white robes, similar to what Silvio always wears. Um, and they are standing over top a large clay urn. There's probably like three or four of these, or no, sorry. There's abs- there's three of them. Um, and it's this large clay urn. It's probably about two feet tall and fairly wide. Um, like almost like a, what you would put flour in on your counter. Like one of those kind of containers, except oh, okay. he's just he has a large and he has a large wooden um, like stick and he's just stirring something inside of it. Um, and in front of him, there is a another dragonborn figure. This one much larger, uh, like this immense person, um, probably about shy of seven feet, um, and this bright, bright, bright red color, similar to this little boy. Um, like there's just this incredibly vibrant color with these golden eyes um, and they're wearing these dark um, dark red robes with like gold trim all over like gold lacing uh, standing at their side is a um, similarly dressed but slightly smaller in stature dragonborn who's a 
dull gold color and they seem to be very young um also in the room at the far side it's just a small circular room uh or a small circular building i guess on the far side of the room there is three um small altars i guess would be the right word the on the left middle and back of the or left what left middle and right of the back wall like almost arranged as like 180 degrees um these three these three altars and the t- the ones on the left and right just have a like myriad of different little idols or like little um religious symbols of Estar and Mira you would recognize some of them are to Siltran um who your your family's all about um and then there's a very large um like shrine or like a emblem of Estar these two triangles that are leaning upon each other um and it, sitting on the middle shrine and it has a large fire burning inside of it it's almost like uh someone built it it's like a fireplace or like a fire pit except it's just the emblem and so that's the room so this kid bursts in and he's like mom and grabs this large lady and she turns and looks at him and in draconic will say um and you all speak draconic so fuck never mind i was gonna say they say something but you all speak it (laughs) um perfectly literate hell yeah they don't know. Scratch that. It. <laughs> Scratch that. The kid runs up to his mom, like shakes her, shakes her vigorously. She budges not whatsoever. This kid is fractions of her mass and continues to talk to this um, person stirring the pot about. It seems like they're just talking about general ceremony preparations, like checking in and stuff. And the smaller um, dragonborn that is standing at her side will turn to him and grab him, not firmly but like oh it's cool let me take care of you kid and is gonna say in common because he sees that you people are in here he's gonna go what seems to be the problem and he's gonna look over you and he goes is is something going on here did something horrible happen and he this kid is just like shaking this man and is like that lady's a dragon and is like screeching this (laughs) child is a maniac um and he's gonna look at you quizzically and go um what's happening what 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 is this all about we we came to come see you and we figured this was the best way we could find you that sounds ominous you came to see me uh like whoever what an honor and he stands up and kind of brushes off his his... when we met this wonderful child the kind of yes, is... brushes off his knees and walks over you goes oh it, it's a it's a pleasure to meet you the name is Ilyaxa. I, I i'm the translator for the chieftains I, I didn't know you would want to meet me that's such an honor well I, I suppose you might be able to help us in our predicament oh uh, what seems to be your predicament uh, let's just step outside i don't want to uh, bother the one the chieftain they're discussing important uh, come along and he like budges the kid and like picks it up him up and like he escorts you all outside to like cause less of a inconvenience to his boss so now we're outside again back in the court back in this lovely summer day so what what's the problem how can i help you we came here to uh, talk to you guys because when we were hanging out in the hot springs, this like weird entrance opened and it turns out there's a bunch of underground passages and some people attacked us and we weren't really sure how aware everyone was of it. And we wanted to make sure that uh, it was dealt with as best as possible. Oh, well, did you talk to Hatifax? Oh, that's his full name. You mean Uncle Hat? Uh, I just know him as Hat. But yeah, he if you call him Uncle Hat, I, I, if he's your uncle, I guess I don't think he's your uncle. Is he your I mean, uncle? He's not. He's not our, he's not our uncle. But oh, he didn't. Well, just, he didn't like his calling it, like, him okay. grandpa. So yeah, he didn't really. Okay, that makes sense. We yeah. talked to him about it, but he didn't really believe us. I think. Um, he kind of said that we should talk to the chieftain because it was oh, not really his problem. Yeah, that's a fair assessment. I think. Well, so it's just a hole. It goes to. A, Goes where? Goes to a castle. Goes to a castle. Why were you down there? So if you don't mind me asking, so falling we, in. Yeah, we were swimming, and then all of a sudden the hole forms, and we get slurped down into this kick, like uh, slurped. Yes, like the water down pushes into the us hole. into the hole. I know what slurping is. And then I was just questioning okay. the choice of using that word specifically. And then, 
And then all of a sudden we saw these three figures and they had this box of bottles of sour juices. And then mm. I ran I ran after them Fireworks. until we ended up in a cliff. And then we walked and walked and saw that they went to a castle. They actually even hit us with mm. um with short bows. And it mm. hurt. And then we follow them, mm. and then my friend here saw that they looked like dwarves, but weird dwarves. Dwarves, but weird, you say. Smoky, smoky weird. Smoky weird, but dwarves? Yes. Yeah. And just right beneath the hot springs? Yeah. It was a bit of a ways, but yes. One of them also kicked me in the face. Yeah, oh. that's why his well, nose I'm, is all I apologize about that. Blood. And as you're all having this conversation, Evidence. if- you all can all see that. So this man, Ilyaksa, this person who's introduced them as the translator to the chieftains, um, this dull golden dragonborn, is holding that kid with like his hands like around his snout so that and he like the kid's trying to like struggle to like open his mouth so he can continue to scream about how he found a dragon, but <laughs> this guy is just holding it firmly shut and we'll deal with that issue at a later date. Um, okay, I have a question. What's your question? Will I be able to, if I like, I don't know. I, I have a feeling like he's he's excited about finding me and thinking I'm a dragon. Would me like resting my hand on him in like a calming manner maybe do something to help with that? You can absolutely since try it. I think he's just gonna go like, more nuts. Yeah. Oh my god, a dragon he's gonna go, touched he's gonna me. Fade. Like I mean, like be. I'm thinking of it from the point of, like, because I am the focus of the excitement, would that focus of excitement, hoping to calm him down, like, would that do something? You can certainly try. Okay. I would, if you, I I would say roll a persuasion check, which is not, this is not a standard thing, but I think it still applies. Okay. To attempt to calm, because animal handling is rude. (laughs) (laughs) Infant handling. Uh, that... That is a 17. Excellent. So you lay a hand on his small little shoulder and he's just vibrating, like <laughs> writhing and trying to escape this grasp and like looks at you. And like, as soon as you lay your hands upon him, he just like, it's like every single bo- freaking muscle in his body is like tensed at once. And, like, he's just, like, thrashing. It does not feel... You do not feel like you've calmed him down in any meaningful way oh, whatsoever. Oh, no. Jesus Christ. Um, Ilyaksa will say, Um, so, um, you said there's dwarves down there? Yeah. Like, what kind of dwarves? I, I couldn't really get a good look at them, but they <clears throat> were definitely dwarves. They had, like, these red eyes and... They had some oh. sort of skin condition where the oh. patches of their skin were just almost like ashes, oh. ashy smoke. That doesn't sound like dwarves I know. Um, they were definitely dwarves. I lived, are there I lived dwarves with around my mom here? and pa, and they were dwarves. I should know what a dwarf looks uh, like. The nearest dwarves that live here in uh, Citadel Toldier, like a couple of days away, um, we don't. They don't really come on our land much. There's like, there's been bad blood in the his in history there. Um, so. If they're on our land, I think that's fairly troubling. I th- thank you for bringing this to our attention. Um, I'll definitely pass it along to the chieftain. Uh, were... I, I guess my only ask would be, please just stay out of danger, you know? Like, thank you for telling us about this. I, uh, I'll get some guards over there as soon as possible and see if we can assemble a force to go in and see what's happening. Um, also, I guess. We'll probably were... have to shut down the hot springs. They were taking uh, fireworks? They were carrying a crate oh. full of fireworks, which kind of was making us think like, oh, what if they were going to like do something bad at the ceremony? But then we were like, oh, what if like this is just where they live and we're being the jerks? So anyway, uh, mm. I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on, well, but they did I'll, take fireworks. I, I can tell you. So I would be careful about that. I can tell Let's you assuredly alcohol. that they they certainly don't belong there. This is light sun land and dwarves aren't allowed here. Hmm. So... Uh, thank you. Um, I'm sorry if this ruins your vacation or your visit. I hope you don't think less of our village. Um, you are our honored guests, after all. Um, it is a pleasure to meet you. You're the first non-Dragonborns I've ever met. Um, so, 
that's exciting. Um, uh, I guess just please keep quiet about this and don't really go yelling about it to people. We don't really want to cause a panic around here, you know? Yeah, that um, me- makes sense. I don't think we can make any promises, but okay. Um, okay. I'll make sure that to... my friend here stares at Winsler can keep his mouth shut, at least for the meantime. Absolutely. Absolutely. Ooh, shit. Um, I guess in the meantime, just enjoy some barbecue and go about your day. Um, I guess. And he starts backing up. He's like, unless there's anything else, I'll take this little oh. rascal and, you know, sort him out. I'm sorry about him screaming at you. Um, it, it, it's okay. He's a fragile child, of course. Precious, absolutely precious in every possible way. And the kid is just writhing around, trying to, like, almost um... open his jaws to, like, bite at this point. <laughs> Jesus clawing, Christ. scratching, doing anything to get so, out of this grass. I, a rabid child. I love this kid. I'm just saying. Um, I mean, you're getting I'm married, sure, but... so that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm sure tonight uh... at the... At hey, the... hear me out. At this point, I don't think anyone else, any of the elders who would be able to officiate a wedding would really go with this. Speaking anyway, of staring up so... in weddings, is Philip still with us? Philip is still with you, okay. and he's extremely bristled. He's, he's extremely fine. bristled about all this, and it's very silent Aww. and solemn. Okay, all right. Um, so, uh, without, I guess the chieftains will probably want to talk to you tonight at the feast. So, um, stick around for that. I hope you enjoy the ceremony this evening. Uh, have a good night. And he just pops back into the tent or the building, and the doors flap close, and that's that. All well, solved. All fixed up. All right. What do we do now? What do you want to do is now? Is there anyone familiar do you guys around us? Go... Like maybe Sylvie, a Sylvie barbecue? Sylvie's not here, no. Or like the parents or grandma? You do not see Nona Pella, no. I don't think you would see anyone that you know currently. I think they'd all be preoccupied. Except Nona Pella. She's probably just doing some pebble raking. That's her well, day. Do you guys want to go to the um, rock garden and see if they're... Or at least see if they're down oh. there or how it's going. Yeah, sure. That I guess it hasn't that... actually been that yeah. long. Like, yeah, it's only been like an hour, hour and a half. That's like well, a normal amount of time to leave them. And yeah. anyway, you know, yeah. we should probably join them anyway. Yeah, because that might be too, um, what's the word for it? Too obvious if we just leave them there forever, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, says Philip. Plus, like, I don't yeah. know anything about them, and I'm, I'm not entirely convinced that they don't just stand completely still while we're not around. You know? <laughs> like, they're inactive without our That's life so source. Rude. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Um, just, they were just in the exact same spot where we left them. Um, yeah, so we're going to be heading back. Um, I'm going to tell the others to continue, and I'm going to ask Philip to see how he's because i noticed that he's in like a more a, a more bitter mood now yeah so i'm gonna, gonna like, say uh on the side i don't know that was real weird like the whole let's go and have a little adventure and almost get killed do you guys do that regularly is that what like the whole is it thing is all about i mean I... it wasn't really on purpose but it does you're not here nerd it... oh yeah oh, sorry like... i thought you were i thought you meant you were asking him whether we should go to the no. rock garden sorry no no no, yeah, no, I, 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 I told you guys to go on. Okay. Yeah. This is just me and... They're, like, kind of hanging back, having a conversation. Right, Sorry right, for right. being mean about it. <laughs> You're not here, though. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> you can't hear this. Um, but, uh... We're, like, we have a cup to the door, and we're all, like, hey, let's <laughs> eavesdrop on these two. <laughs> what door? Every door. Because okay. love is an open Every, door. Um... Like, as... <laughs> oh, God. Anyway, um, I'm gonna respond to that. Well, it's been kind of crazy since getting to the school, but um, I, I would say it's it's definitely something that I had to get used to very quickly. In yeah, I, I'd say we're having real different school life experiences. Like mine's just all about hanging out, read books, do these tests, go to class, go to sleep, do this work, read this weird 
biblical pa- or oh, biblical weird this read this weird Whoa. religious scripture passage in this really old book that is really hard to read and the the language doesn't really make sense and it's like yes i don't want to do this and it's like i don't have a choice and you guys are all around like just going out fighting people risking your lives getting hurt like Merendi and all of them they just got really badly injured and like i'm worried that like i'm worried that you guys are going to get really hurt like you guys almost Virgin got Phillip really hurt versus earlier. Chad Serenep. What? <laughs> Virgin Philip versus Chad Serenep. <laughs> what the fuck? <sighs> like it's all just real scary. Cursed dwarves like... who might be diseased and have eczema. That's freaking <laughs> hey, scary. As hell. Eczema is not a disease. Well, it it is, I mean, but it's technically, not. But like, it's not a disease. Disease. Like, it's not. It's not. It's not um, something to uh, make fun of. It's not something to be ashamed of or make fun of. Yes, for. you're right. Exactly. Look, Philip. Believe me when I say when I came to Wildcliff, the this wasn't what I was expecting. I was expecting to have time to myself to grow as a person. Finally, but it, it's we can't. I. I didn't choose really to be paired up with them, but after knowing them for a while, even though there are points where I lose my cool, I I can't see myself having come to Wildcliff in any other type of adventure or insanity. But I understand from a, f- a, f- a first viewpoint of what happens in our lives that it's crazy. Yeah. So are you going to marry that kid? <laughs> I... <laughs> He says as you catch back up with the group. I, I definitely do not think in any way that the elders would allow a marriage. I will definitely try and talk myself out of that marriage if possible. I think the fact I, that you aren't actually a dragon kind of disqualifies you from it. I feel like even then, the child's excitement of the news versus um, the reaction of the translator speaks highly of what kind of story it was of his great, 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 et cetera times <laughs> grandmother marrying a dragon after finding out they're human kind of tells you that this is more of a fairy tale idea than a real thing. And if it ends up being a real thing, I'm not a dragon in disguise. So, I mean, I'm not getting married <laughs> at this at this point. <laughs> and so. only to you. Right. Okay. <laughs> Do you say that out loud? Because I'm going to smack you. <laughs> I'm gonna whisper it to no. I'm gonna whisper it to um Winsler and Mira. Cause like we oh, okay. cause you said that they're come like close to us by this yeah, time. Yeah, this right? is as they're catching up. So they're having this conversation like, about unless it's unless it's him. <laughs> or no 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 sorry, stage stage whisper. Unless it's him. <laughs> I'm also going Thank to give her a thumbs up. Say. Like right? <laughs> I'm gonna also... I look at her. I look at her confused and look at Mira and also give. A I just up. like. I'm gonna like do the thing where I kind of like point at the two of them, like kind of put my finger between the two of them, and I kind of like you know, like the, you don't see it. You don't see the chemistry. Winsler's too the innocent yearning. for I'm this. Winsler is drawing a blank. We don't have chemistry. We have alchemy. <laughs> um, but I'm also going to say, um. Also, uh, she, she's also going to say to Philip. I guess as the group has now converged again. Um, I'm also sorry that I haven't had a lot of time to talk with you about things. I know the sudden reveal of a cousin was out of nowhere, but with yeah. studies and um, everything, it does your family know? To, Did you know um, that she was part of your family before going? Does she I know? Knew... Well, she knows, but like, did she know before? <laughs> she, I believe she didn't, and she's gonna look over to Integrity for. Did you know some before kind of... that you were cousins? He says to you, Integrity. Well, no, but her story checks out, and I asked my mom if it's a possibility. <laughs> Apparently, it is a possibility, so who knows? Wow. And I found some old family trees that showed, um, that showed her and idol and the Idleberry family ooh, ooh, line. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, um, 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 uh, uh, uh. um. Um, um, Serenos, do you have <laughs> um, your, do you have yes. your necklace? Oh, yeah, I have that, yeah. I, I bring it out. I'm going to take out my brooch, because it's, um, it's on my chest. 
Okay. Actually, yeah, no, it's, it's not same. on my chest. It's, it's actually same. in my backpack. Um, okay. Because as, I, eh. I'm still wearing stupid clothes. Um, and I'm going to be like... <laughs> I'm still wearing a bathing suit. I'm going to be like, look at this. And then I will make them go together. Oh, shit. And be like... Oh, look, wow. Look. They really fit it together. It's like a puzzle. <laughs> yup. Oh, shit. It uh, really does. What do they look like? Remind our audience who it's been a thousand years since any mention oh, of God. these fucking things have come up. I myself, for example, completely forgot they existed. I have, wow. in my uh, character That's a picture, joke. I, I, have, Don't I have the thing drawn in there. It would make my picture bigger. Mine is circular. It's- it has a green gem in the middle. Ovular. Mine is on a gold chain. It's a kind of silver emblem with a, like dark blue and light blue, like kind of like swirled and crisscrossing in the middle. Mm-hmm. It's surrounded by silver. And it's not circular. It's kind of like if you look at like an old Greek urn from the profile, like yeah. it's big on the top and kind of like. That's kind of like what it looks that, like. Yeah. yeah. It has that they, weird like curve thing. They somehow fit together. Who's to say? <laughs> Fan artists, you're to say. How do you how would you put these two abstract objects together? Let us know. Discord, oh, it has, Thousand it has, Check and it out. It also has gold um, call out. It also has, has like the gold vines that are of ro- like rose vines that are etched on mm-hmm. the side. Yes. Yeah. That's pretty much it. Um, Thorns and stuff. Yeah, my family has definitely my family definitely knows about it, but they def but they also very much tried to hide that side yes. of the family from me. They never told me what happened that broke our family apart, but I do know that if they found out that one of the reasons I came to Wildcliff was also to find her, they would not be pleased. So it's best that we keep it a secret. Wow, you came all the way to Wildcliff just to find your cousin? And he looks at you in integrity and goes, She's kind of weird, though. Like, you know? Jeez. I'm going to look at Philip again. <laughs> like, in front of her? I'm going to look at Philip yeah, again. Like, I will put, like, my two thumbs up and I'll wink at him again. <laughs> I'm going to put gonna... my arm... I'm going to do my regular my regular gesture of, like, putting my yeah. arm around Philip and saying, yeah. Of course she's not the only reason I went. I went for you, too. And for I the great gonna, classes cool. that they have at Wildcliff. Yeah. I was going to be There were a sassy. lot of reasons to go. What were you going to do, Winsler? I was going to be sassy. He's like, well, do you like her or not? <laughs> and then at this moment in time, this is at like... this moment in time, Integrity faints as a joke. Because, you know, like, it's like... <gasps> it's amazing how, like, there's been, like, quiet, like, funny jokes. And then it comes to the point where, like, it's this, it's like the side characters to this romance that are that's happening. The main characters, but, like, side characters to this, like, who are just, like... Do you guys like each other? Do something, what? please. Make up your minds. This is as guys. soon as Winsler, like, because Winsler didn't know two minutes ago that they yeah. had a thing for each other, and as soon as he finds out, he just like, so do you like each other? <laughs> <laughs> oh, or, did you actually ask that question? Yeah. Oh, dang. You gotta be oh. sassy as fuck. Uh, Philip turns bright red. Beat red. Sarah turns bright red as well. And, and she, like, drops say, her arm from, like, the oh. gesture that she was doing, like, um... Well, yeah, we've been friends since we were kids, Winsler. Yeah! Yeah. I'm I'm gonna look at Mira and Integrity, and I'm just gonna shrug. They're so weird. <laughs> Serenep is gonna turn around, and, like, she's, like, dropped her arm from his shoulder, and she's like, let's go find the others at the maze thing. Yeah, let's, let's go. go to the stone gardens. <laughs> yep. And they both speed walk away. I whisper to uh, Winsler and uh, Integrity. They'll get together. It's just a matter of time. <laughs> <laughs> they confuse okay. me sometimes. So this was we not arrive the heart to heart. I meant, but okay. At the <laughs> northern gate, if you remember, there was a split path: one going to the dragon, the other dragonborn village of uh, Sun Shadow, and one going to the Stone Gardens. And garden. as you walk through the gate. Um, the guards open the gates for you obviously it's not like a thing it's just like they don't want anyone coming in but it's like oh you're just going out to the stone gardens absolutely and they let you out um and you walk the few minutes it is to like the like before you only walked like 20 seconds and they were like oh actually we're gonna go this way by and ditch them 
Um, but it's actually a fair walk, like a little, a little <laughs> trek. Just left them to walk down there. Yeah, a little trek down a pathway to get to the stone gardens. We haven't eaten all day. I better, so... I better pull out some of my gorp. Oh my heavens! Oh yeah, I <laughs> still have some of my candy from the shop. And I'm going to pull it up and yeah. I'm going to blush again and like hold out some to Philip. Like, do you want some? Yes, sure. Thank you, friend. And grab some. Yeah, no problem, friend. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm going to the others and hold out the, the candy, but I'm also going to give them like an eye raise. Yeah. Turning to, t- turning like my back to him. He's like still walking. They don't see, he, he doesn't see my face. They see my face. And so, like, I, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. it's just like, yeah. I just grin. I fucking God. So. Walking down this pathway, you eventually arrive. It seems like a very, you, it's like, um, it opens up this small pathway. It, you've, it's like you're in a cavern, um, like, and it's well lit, but you eventually, it opens up. There's a very nice stair uh, carved into the stone that goes down. There's these wonderful, at this point in the summer, they'd be um, very lush the flowers would be gone already but the actual plants would be in like beautiful condition um like bright green that just like floral scent just fills your nostrils everywhere you look it's just bright green and there's beautiful trees emerging from like the gravel um ground and there's just these patterns that similar to in the actual village itself they're just raked into the gravel here they seem much more um artistic and less of like a hobby and more of like an actual purposeful um artistic venture and then all the trees and plants are very carefully distributed and it's like it's a very beautiful environment and there's just these large pillars of stone that are etched into different um figures like just statues um and then there's just straight up uh stones that are just erected and they there's little plaques every here and there that say this is what that stone is and this is what that stone is but before you can get all to that or to all that you walk down these stairs and take in all these sights and all these smells all this new experience this the sky i should say as well you were in a cavern the sky or i guess the ceiling is kind of cracked open and there is some beams of natural light coming in and it's just absolutely gorgeous in here and there's not a ton of people there's a few older people way across this large cavern um feeding the birds feeding birds maybe who knows um but plotting imminent demise definitely as you walk down the stairs there's a large cherry tree um that's a few feet in front of the stairs and there's a stone bench sitting in front of it and a fairly long stone bench um and on the very far left side is Ganal, reading a small book in his, oh. like, that something you would keep in your pocket, right? And on the very far other side is a red, <laughs> puffy-eyed Lucia. Oh, and that's no. where we're going to end for oh, this no. week. Oh, oh, no. No. oh, This is the worst cliffhanger! This is, this is worse than timeline. last week! Like, oh, we're <laughs> going to die fucking whatever. Oh. Who cares? Lucia's sad? Like, no. You no. can't do that. I know I said I didn't care, do? but now I care. <laughs> Carla, can you do the outro? Well, hello, everyone. You're at the end of our episode, and I hope that you guys enjoyed this week's episode. Please leave a review or rating on our iTunes. It, it will be wonderful to hear from all of you. We also have social media at Trials and Trebs on both Twitter and Instagram. And we also have a Discord, and you can find the link on our socials, which I already said, at Trials and Trebs. And we have a Reddit. <laughs> Subreddit? Yeah. r slash Trials and Trebs. We're looking forward to hearing from you guys, because we love you. <laughs> heart, heart, Aww. integrity, Adelberry. Integrity doing the intro. Nice letter. You can find, like, uh, we do art and teasers and stuff on our social media, and then Discord is just uh, for fun goofing around. Um, Discord is thank where we you. also do art and media fun. Also other people's art and media and fun and memes stuff about our show. Discord. And memes and just general good fun Wonderful people. memes. But until, until next week, it's been a pleasure providing you some form of entertainment, I hope, this week. Uh, ciao. Bye. Bye. See ya.